Hello everyone and welcome to this week's review. I'm going to be chatting about All In One from Bells Bums specifically. I've been trying this one out for months and I'm looking forward to sharing this one with you. I'm loving the prints, actually this brand has so many different prints, has so many different varieties of colours, so many different patterns and there's something for everybody in this brand for sure. So before we start I just wanted to say if you hear some panting, if there's some barking or like, I don't know, whatever sounds coming from this area right here underneath this tripod unfortunately i've got my dog here he's huge he's big he's loud and annoying but i don't really fancy moving him as well because this is his spot to lay these days in this new house we're still settling in so i don't want to disrupt him and i hope you guys don't mind before i start i'd love it if you can give me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it i do this in my spare time i actually work full time as well i've got a toddler and everything else in my life so we've moved into this new house and it's been absolutely manic i'll be doing an update on that shortly so i'd very much appreciate your feedback and the way you can do that is either leave a comment or give me a thumbs up or both i'd very much appreciate it so thank you so much for watching and let's get started so this is the nappy that I was talking about it's very much light and bright and it's got like animals on it it's got a great print we went to the zoo only on the weekend so the fact that these are similar sort of animals it actually reminds me of that happy time that I had on the bank holiday weekend so this is the print the right way up hopefully you can see this okay Basically, there's plenty of prints as I mentioned, so there's something for everybody. Um, but let's talk about the nappy itself. So you do know how much I love a good pocket nappy. But recently, I must say I've been using the all-in-ones a lot more. And I'm going to be comparing this one a lot to the one that I use most often, which is probably the Bambino Mio all-in-one. If you wanted to find out more about that one I also did a review so I'll make sure to add a link like right here and in the comments down below for you as well so that you can check that review out and then you can compare the two see the differences and the similarities between them so essentially an all-in-one is different to a pocket nappy because it is what it says on the tin in the sense that it's an all-in-one nappy it is connected via this section here usually the back or the front just depends on the nappy that it is and in this case the insert that is this layer here that you put inside the nappy is very different to the Bambino Mio one because the Bambino Mio one actually comes with that insert that is like microfiber and most people prefer not to use a microfiber just because it's not as absorbent as the other materials especially like hemp, bamboo, cotton so basically this is a much better quality insert so I know some people that have actually um, cut out the Bambino Mio insert because they just couldn't deal with that one um, and inserted their own inserts that are much better quality and in this case you don't need to do that because the insert is a lot better material it's a lot more absorbent it's much thicker as well so especially in this middle section here um, so I do find it quite interesting as well that the um, insert has like the leg gussets that you usually get on a pocket nappy but in this case like it's all ruffled inside so that it's a comfort comfortable fit so it's more comforting for the baby the other thing is unlike a Bambino Mio one where actually the insert goes into the um, like the pocket nappy but it's still an all-in-one because um it's it's all connected um this one actually stays on the outside and that's what i found quite interesting um i also super duper love the fact that you can bend this at the front because it's connected at the front this one unlike the bambino mia ones which is at the back i believe I like the fact that you can bend it and when you do, so when you fold it up, 
it's at the front and the reason I want it at the front is because I've got a baby boy. If you've seen my other reviews and you've seen my vlogs and things, you'll see that because I've got a boy, I try and put as many inserts at the front as possible because that's where he's gonna wee, because that's where his wee wiener is. <laughs> if it's a girl, obviously, I do recommend that you should have it in the middle here like this and then you should probably put extra inserts or like boosters in the middle here. But what I do is fold it up, add probably another one, two here, uh, like a booster or something, usually a bamboo one, and then I find this is good to go. The other thing I've noticed with this nappy is that the outer layer, so although the insert can be folded up and everything, the like the top section is very fleecy, it's very lovely on the skin. I prefer to have like a super soft fleece so that my baby is kept dry and that the skin isn't irritated, it's a lot more kinder to the bottom. So I'm glad that they've kept like the, the best parts basically of like a, a normal pocket nappy because their pocket nappies have a similar sort of like material which is like a super soft fleece on the out like inner layer. So I'm glad that they've kept it for this one as well. Something interesting is that this nappy also has that click system. So essentially, if you get any of their others, or even a separate one, what I'm gonna do is actually try in a little while, uh, after I mentioned what I was gonna mention, um, I try a different um, insert or booster so that I can actually click it and see whether it works. But essentially, if you buy a Bells Bums booster or Z Soaker, um, so that's something unique to the brand, um, you can actually add boosters that way rather than just like a, a separate one that I've suggested like a booster you can actually add that and click that to the back here and then you've got another layer that you can put underneath this all in one nappy so just giving it that extra support it's a lovely sunny day today so I've had loads of flies indoors and I've just been running around one trying to like get it out of the room so I'm glad I managed to open that window and it flew away so let's get back into it. I managed to also have a look at some other inserts. I've just checked and it's actually a Tickle Tots one. So I've got an insert here with the poppers inside which I'm gonna try out now live for you guys to see whether it fits with the all-in-one from Bells Bums. So here goes, it's got like that middle popper here. This one's the boost I believe, not even the insert because the inserts have like the two on the sides which make it a little bit like skew whiff on the side but it doesn't matter it actually doesn't fit with that popper system I'm trying to oh it does so after a lot of pressure it actually fitted in uh, it's folding in nicely in the middle here and then I've put the um, uh, the all-in-one insert that's connected on top and here you go, extra protection in case you wanted it. I've also got the Z Soaker here that I mentioned earlier, so that's from Bells Bums as well. As you can see, they've got like that similar sort of system with the leg gussets, just to give it more, um, I guess, what, what would it be? More flexibility and keeping it a lot more uh, comfortable for when it is on. So what I'm gonna do is just connect that popper onto the system, which is nice and easy because it's the same brand and basically I'm going to put the insert on top and then you've got two inserts like so which is great because they're both very good uh, quality materials so when it comes to like that soakage and like durability the reliability making sure that it lasts you two to three hours at least I think Bells Bums can definitely do that one for you um, because the materials that you, they use is usually like bamboo um, and hemp so those two are probably the primary ones that they use throughout their nappies so that's really good for their inserts and good for us to make sure it's as easy as possible to use cloth nappies so let's talk about price in terms of price it retails at around just underneath that 17 pound mark. But obviously if you're smart about it, if you use the Facebook um, group that I keep mentioning, or you actually like are a first time buyer, you'll be surprised how many brands or other websites actually sell the brand. 
so definitely have a look around at offers and things like that there's also a great um facebook group for reselling bells bums so if you're interested in getting a good bargain they usually come around that like i'd say between 10 and 15 pounds or if you buy a bundle obviously it gets a little bit cheaper um so yeah just have a look around be a little bit more savvy with the price and when you're buying second hand you're doing like the world a favor again so not only are you doing the world a favor by using cloth nappies but by buying second hand as well it means like less resources again just buying from you you know so yeah i definitely recommend you having a look around and being a little bit more smarter with your money in terms of drying you might have seen in a very old uh, about a year ago i did some like um videos around how i do the washing around um for bells no not bells but i can't even speak today so around the bambino mio um nappies and how i dry them and usually what i do is i get an error or a line and basically how i dry them is put put it like this so that it's got lots and lots of air space to like to dry basically and with the bambino mio ones they're super quick to dry because they are microfiber microfiber is known to dry the quickest um so i must say that this does take a little bit longer but because it's so much better in terms of like the material of the insert i don't mind that it takes a little bit longer and actually because i do my washing every two days i found that we got into a rhythm and a routine that fits perfectly with this nappy as well it's definitely not the longest in terms of drying um i'd say a day if it's like a mucky day or like a mild day that we get in the uk all the time it's probably a day and a half to dry uh, I haven't tried a tumble dryer yet, so we'll see how that goes maybe in the future, fingers crossed. Need to sort out everything else in the house first and then we'll get there when we get there, right? <laughs> anyway, what I'm trying to say is that actually it's pretty normal in terms of drying. It's also really easy to wash. I've done it at the 40 degree mark. I've also taken your guys' advice um, into account and I've started doing like a mini wash first especially if the nappies are soiled um, so that it washes like the extra bits first and then I'm using a different wash so that it washes properly with the clean water so basically I don't use the same water twice uh, and then I find it a much better clean I also don't use any conditioner anymore so washing conditioner is is a no-go but I still do use the normal um, it's not a powder, but I can't remember what it's called, like the, the washing liquid that I just pop in there rather than the conditioner. So um, I've been told that conditioner is a no-go because it actually leaves a residue in your inserts, on your materials, which makes it less absorbent. So that's something to keep in mind if you're interested. Just trying to think what else I can mention to you guys that will be useful to you. Um, essentially, there's still that same popper system at the front so that you can do it from when your baby is a lot younger to as they grow. So my son is two years old and I don't actually use the popper system anymore because he's sort of grown out of it in my opinion, um, which works fine for us and it, he's still not at the very ends of these either so there's still room to grow for him so I'm very much looking forward to continuing to use this nappy it's very reliable and very useful and uh, the other thing that I was going to mention that I didn't mention earlier around the popper system is the fact that you can actually pop this same all-in-one insert at the back as well so you don't actually have to pop a, a like an extra insert here it can just be this same one and you can add boosters at the bottom here if you wanted to um, without clicking it into place basically so I thought that was worth mentioning as well that one was a nice and easy review I hope that you liked it uh, if you have any other questions about the nappy I'll be happy to answer those below so do make sure to comment them thank you so much for watching this video and I'm very much looking forward to seeing you in the next one so thanks so much and take care bye